Your password must include an uppercase letter, a number, special character, can't be similar to your last five passwords and must be at least 12 characters long. Still denied. Sounds familiar? Last week, my dad spent at least 30 minutes trying to create a strong password, only to forget it the next day. And you know what he did? He wrote it on a sticky note and placed it right there on his computer. We've all been there, right? Hi everyone, if you're joining us for the first time, my name is Tracy Anifuna and I'm a cyber security consultant. On this channel, make online security simple for everyone. By the end of this video, you would know how to create a strong password you will actually remember, why most strong passwords aren't actually secure, the perfect formula for creating an unbreakable password, and how to manage them all without going crazy. Let's start with what not to do. Here's the most common password mistakes I see every day. Adding one, two, three, or an exclamation mark at the end of the password. Using birth dates or names. Replacing letters with numbers. Using the same password everywhere, making small changes to one password. Would you believe that one, two, three, four, five, six is still the most common password in 2024? And password one, two, three, exclamation mark isn't any much better. So what makes a strong password, you may ask? Here's what actually matters in 2024. Number one, length beat complexity. Two, randomness is key. Three, uniqueness actually matters more than special characters. I will break down the three key password principles in the next slides. Length beat complexity. Because hackers' computers have to try out every possible combination of letters and words in your password, every single character you add to your password makes their job exponentially harder. Let's see some real world example. I have a strong password, exclamation mark, 14 characters. I love eating sweet pizza on Tuesday afternoon, more than 36 characters. The first one might take just hours to crack. The second one, it might take a million years, even if the second one is just a combination of simple words. Number two, randomness is key. If passwords were like hiding spots, using common patterns is like hiding your key under a doormat. Everyone checks there first. Some examples of bad randomness is like adding one, two, three at the end of your password, adding an exclamation mark, replacing A with the at sign, adding your birth year, using QWERTY -E or some other keyboard patterns. A good randomness example includes combining unrelated words, mixing unexpected things, using truly random phrases. Why does randomness in password matters? It matters because hackers have a huge list of common patterns and they try out those patterns first. So true randomness in password makes their job much harder. To make it even more difficult, do not use any word found in a dictionary. Coin up your own words and spellings. Number three. Uniqueness matters much more than special characters. Think, for example, if a password was like a house key, would you use the same password for your house, your car, your office, your safety deposit box? Of course not. So why use the same password everywhere? Why does uniqueness matter? If a website gets hacked, for example, with unique passwords, only one account is at risk. With reused password, all your accounts are at risk. For a real world example, Having super strong password exclamation mark everywhere is worse than having Netflix, Facebook, Gmail. In summary, a simple rule of thumb would be, instead of worrying about making your password complex, focus on having them long, random, and unique. Remember, a long random password is much more stronger than a short complex one with lots of symbols. The best password is one you can remember but others can't guess.
So here's my foolproof method for creating strong, memorable passwords. Start with a random phrase you will remember, add something unique to you, include something specific to the website, add an unpredictability element. Let me show you how. So first we start with the base phrase, then we add something personal, then a website specific identifier, then unpredictability, the result, Elephant Juice Rainbow Snowing 2 Cat FB% This password right here will take years to crack. Surprisingly, it is so easy to remember. Now, let me show you three different methods you can use to create strong passwords. Number one, the story method. Think of a tiny story. My cat ate three fish in Paris, exclamation mark, and then turn it into my cat ate three fish in Paris, exclamation mark, all joined together as one word, and there you have a strong password. Number two, the random word method. Pick four random words, example, correct horse battery staple, add the words together with your special twist, and there you have a strong password. Number three, the personal algorithm. Create your own formula. So my formula in this example would be first letter of a service that would be N for Netflix and special word would be elephant. Birth month, for example, would be 03 for March. And then the special symbol would be the ash sign. Using this formula, the password we can get from the formula would be Nelephant03 and the ash sign. There you have a strong password. Let's make this super clear. When creating strong password, use at least 12 characters, mix different types of words, create unique password for each account, use a password manager. But please do not use personal information, share your password across multiple accounts, use common substitution, store your password in plain text. Now I know what you're thinking. How am I supposed to remember all this? Here is where a password manager comes into play. They are your personal vault because they help you remember all your passwords, generate strong ones, work across all the devices, and also alert you if a password has been compromised. Check out our video on password managers and how to set one up, link in the description below. Quick recap and key takeaway of all we've learned today. Number one, use long random phrases when creating passwords. Number two, make them memorable with personal meaning. Three, please use unique passwords across all your accounts. Number four, let a password manager do the heavy lifting of managing your password. And number five, please enable two-factor authentication on all your accounts. Check out our video on how to enable two-factor authentication, link in the description below.
If this video helped you understand modern password requirement and how to create stronger password, please smash that like button and subscribe to our channel for more simple security tips that actually work. Till next time, thank you for watching, stay safe out there, and I'll see you in the next video. Cyber Safety Simplified, bringing you insights, tips, and tricks to keep you safe online, at work and at home.